Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis here at the NMX booth at NAB 2014 and I've got the latest in hotspot technology for you. Welcome to Geekbeat. All right, right behind me we have uh, Don, the gadget professor back there doing interviews here at the NMX booth. And with me, I have Martin from Inmarsat. Hi. Thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure, thank you. I am really excited about this. It's the latest phone. Look. Yeah. No, okay. Actually, this is a satellite phone. So, <laughs> Martin, what is this? Uh, we're gonna get to the hotspot here in a second. Right. But first. This is a this is a new handheld phone, um, <laughs> which uh, is uh, is the latest uh, phone. Uh, best in all in class audio that in my sats uh, just launched uh, right. last Running month. Android, right? No. It runs. Uh, <laughs> it, it's alas a very very simple phone, but it's great if you're out in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Yeah. Um, so for uh, campers, for hikers, for um, people in RVs traveling across the country. Absolutely, and and you know anywhere in the world. So you know that you've got connectivity. It has tracking built into it. So for journalists, uh, NGO workers, people in dangerous places, you know exactly where they are. Uh, it also has the ability to send an emergency message okay. in case you get into trouble. Um, and it's very robust, yeah. very, very reliable, 99.9%. .9%, so basically you have this, you know you can get connected. All right, so that is a satellite phone, which you know we've all heard of, right? But this device, I, I've never even heard of anything like it, is the Insta Hub. It's an iSat, iSat hub. hub. Why do I say that, Insta Hub? No, but it's a hub. I mean, that's what it is. It's a, it basically allows you to connect to the same satellites that the phone uses, but it, it's designed to connect to your smartphone by Wi-Fi and, and let you do with your smartphone whatever you do here at NAB, but with this, you can do it anywhere in the world. So up to, apart from the North and South Pole, uh, you know, I'm afraid we can't do that because the satellites are in geostationary orbit. But up to 60 degrees latitude, north and south, you can you can do the same things with your phone that you can in this hall. So I love this idea because we're so used to having carrying our mobile hotspots with us, and we have to rely on you know our 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 providers uh, for phone service and the, for the data service. But this offers you the ability to do it with satellite. Um, and so okay, let's walk through this. Sure. Uh, where would I put this? Let's say I'm driving an RV down the road across the country or. Um, here in you know yeah. uh, NAB. So you, you so what you do is you you could you could have it sitting on your dashboard. Okay. And you just point it out the window. Yeah. Uh, it's not designed to be used while you're moving because it's uh it's it's got to have a lock on to the satellite. Yeah. So when you stop, you just uh, turn it on. You've got little arrows that tell you where to point. Yeah. Um, I was using it yesterday. It's even I can use it. So we're it's, not going to uh, see it because we're because in the we're middle inside. of a convention center. Yeah. We're not going to see the lights working it, as correctly. It's got to see the satellite yeah. in order to communicate. So, so it would say go down, go up, exactly. and you would adjust it exactly. as, as necessary. Exactly. Okay. And it, it then it uh, registers with the satellite. Yeah. And then you have an app on your smartphone that communicates by Wi-Fi with it. Okay. And that's it. You can make phone calls. There's an optimized voice phone calls. Voice yeah. phone calls. Uh, you can send messages. You can do emails. You can do web browsing. So we um, wouldn't be downloading YouTube videos with this yeah, because of the connection. Um, I mean, it, it, it basically the speeds up to three, eight, four kilobits per second. Okay. But it depends how many people are using it. And I mean, the great thing about this is that it's just like a Wi-Fi router that you have at home. So you can have as many people as you like on it, but you are sharing that connection. Right. And so, although I have downloaded YouTube movies, um, actually. I, that's not what it's designed to do. Okay. It's designed to do email. It's designed to keep you connected uh, wherever you are, but um, but not really to stream the latest sure. episode of Game of Thrones. But for getting work done <laughs> and doing things, yes. I guess you watched Game of Thrones the other day. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. Okay. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So how do I power this thing? So uh, the battery <laughs> is. Hold your phone. Yeah, thank you. The battery is just this little uh, guy here. Oh, Thumbs it comes up. off. Um, you can get an extended battery. This one will uh, give you about eight hours of standby time, uh, two hours of transmit of actual connectivity. Um, 
and uh, you can replace it, as I said, with a, a longer, a longer lasting okay. one. Um, and that's the it's so it's sort I'll of doubles as the right stand yeah. and and the battery. There's no connections um, apart from the power. Yeah. So you just plug in a uh, either a, a cigarette lighter attachment okay. or a DC adapter, um, and that's it. And that tells you. I think this has got three quarters. Nice. Um, and that's basically and that is it. Pretty much it. Wow. It's, so it's designed to be really simple. It's designed. I, uh, you know, to to be something that you don't need any training. Yeah. <laughs> and so Inmarsat has typically been used by journalists, by professionals, because the, 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 the equipment, you know, it's not cheap. Yeah. This is sort of 1400 bucks, that type okay. of range. And it's really designed to, to address, you know, like a new market. Like I say, you know, RV owners or people who are going off on extended, uh, you know, hiking tours in really remote places. Yeah. But they want to have that connectivity. And you know what, guys? It's light. I mean, it's it's not feather light, but right. it's because it can't be. But it's light, so you're not going to be like oh, with your backpack weighing you down. All right, very very cool. Thank you so much for a look oh, at this. Where can people time. find more? Um, so it's being launched uh, in June at Communicasia I have to wait. in Singapore. Yeah, <laughs> but. But you can go to the uh, Inmarsat website, inmarsat.com, and uh, uh, just type in the name ISAT Hub and you can get more information. Thank you so much, Martin. You guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to check out more coverage at geeky.tv here from the NMX booth at NAB 2014. There's a lot of M's in there. Bye.